In this experiment, we're going to be using the same setup that we had for calculating acceleration in a straight line. The only difference this time is that we're going to be using the information that we collect to try and estimate the friction between the cart and the track. Before you begin, if you haven't already, please review all the lab instructions as provided by your instructor. And please remember to wear your proper PPE, including safety glasses and anything else that your instructor requires. And finally, before you touch any equipment, please make sure to clean and disinfect the equipment and your work area before proceeding and, of course, when you're done. As I said, we're using the same setup as before, so if you need a refresher on how to set anything up or how to read the data logger, please refer to the previous video, which will be linked below. Once you're set up, you'll be running at exactly the same as the last experiment. You'll be changing your weights on your end and then noting the speeds as they pass the two different photo gates and using that information for your calculations. The only additional information you're gonna need this time is that you'll also need to know the mass of your cart. If you're doing this virtually, your instructor will provide you with the mass, the speeds, and the distance between your photo gates, and that should be enough to proceed. Otherwise, if you're doing this in person, please collect all that information. And once you have all that information, you can proceed on with the rest of the lab. You can do your teardown, make sure to remember to always clean all the equipment in your area before putting everything away. Once you move on to the actual calculation section, I will caution that you may come across a negative value. Due to errors in measurement, it's possible when you're calculating the F sub K value that you might get a negative number. If that happens, don't treat it as a negative, treat it as a zero. And if you're asked to plot anything, just don't plot any of the zeros on your graph. That should be everything that you need to know for this experiment. All the other instructions are in your lab report. So continue on and once you're done, you can submit that as you would normally. As always, if there's any further questions, please contact your instructor.